Hi everyone, welcome back to Prospect Bay. It's been a little bit since I last uh, recorded any episodes. I just recorded a bunch in a spurt, as I frequently do, and have been uploading them steadily since. Uh, so at the end of last time, I said that I would extend the railway from Trapezus northeastward toward the older cities of the region. And, well, I actually didn't do that right away. Instead, I stayed in Trapezus uh, to record something like two or three more episodes improving the city. And, well, I lost a lot of what I did with a crash, and in my frustration, I deleted all of my material, including the two finished episodes. So, uh, I'll start this one off by showing you what I did there that I lost. I also played a fair amount off camera later too, so there are some other things I have to show you too. We'll get around to that after this city tile loads and we finish going around it. Yeah, maybe it was a mistake to <laughs> not just meet you in your business, but well. Hey, you get to see the beautiful region view shot of it. Yep. Yeah, I'm thinking for when I eventually expand the city more, I want to put a fair amount of, uh, I want to expand over here at some point. So that's the next big thing I have to do here. I'd rather expand there than any other direction at this point. Just because be kind of hard to taper off from urban neighborhoods into wilderness and I'd rather not disturb where I've already put some effort into that and woo okay here we are so you might remember the rail line here before had something like two stations in this area three at grade crossings I mean, basically, not the most realistic stuff going on. So I changed that, and whoop, looks like this field uh, is no longer working. Yeah. Oof. Some funny terrain there. Yeah, so I changed that before the uh, the rail switch was over here too. I moved that further back so that uh, it could be behind this new rail yard. I figured that it was a bit unrealistic to have a transshipment point from a railroad without some kind of rail yard, so I downloaded a lot for that. This one from SFBT, and uh, well, I think it definitely. Uh, I don't know how I feel for how it looks in the middle of the city, but uh, it's definitely something that's necessary for realism, so I'm glad I got it. Yep, the rail switch goes off into a spur that heads off northeastward, and I finished building that out. Uh, damn. A lot of this graphical glitch today. Well, I mean, but, uh, it doesn't quite run closely parallel to the highway. I saw it. I got one comment about uh, how it was unrealistic that I was running my rails and highways to get uh, closely parallel in Bartolino. And, well, I don't quite agree with that because. It's very common to see railroads and highways run very close together, at least in this part of the U.S. Because it can be expensive to grade the slope for an alignment. And when there's already one there, and you're, I mean, you might as well take advantage of it and build a new transportation networks. Yeah. So it's a pretty common thing, but I did also agree that, you know, 
it's not the most interesting looking thing either, so I tried to run my rails and highways a bit separate when I was building them out off camera. Anyway, yeah, the rest of what I did in uh, Trapezius was build this whole new neighborhood on this side of the rail line, and also all this over here on this side of the canal. And man, I think the city's taken a pretty decent shape since the shape at this point. Uh, it's grown to be the second biggest in the region. It's just barely tailing behind Legos. Still definitely the commercial center by far. Yeah. Whoa. Looks like somebody's uh, dropping instruments downstairs. Yeah. So, anyway. Not too much more to show here, I suppose. I guess I will meet you to the northeast where I've extended this rail line over a couple tiles. See you there. Here we are in Hibiscus City, facing south, where the rail line comes on through, curves around the hills, which are very steep here, and continues on northeastward to another tile. Yep, I made a little bit of a small settlement around here off camera and I think it looks all right it's not too much of anything it's uh, just supposed to be a few little houses out by the highway yep. and over here there's another one pretty much the same deal only room for a few farms because of the steep slopes around here. That's about it. Anyway, the highway continues on through another tile. Uh, so I'll meet you there. Alright, this city tile is named Guilin. And I know I already had a city named that in my other region, the Great Outdoors. But, well, I thought, I mean, that one was technically called New Guilin. This is just Gwenyu, so there's that distinction, I suppose. Anyway, this area is a bit of an exception to where, how I said I was trying to run my rail line pretty far from the highway. I just couldn't find a way to do that around here because the cliffs are so steep and they come so close to the coast. So rail and the highway run pretty close together here until you get into this flattened out area toward the north of the tile where the rail curves sharply to the east here in order to enter a different city tile. The highway continues along to Tidewater. This rail bypasses it and that tile is actually Honey Valley if you remember it. Uh, except it's a corner of the tile that's separated from the city of Heidi Valley by some steep hills. Anyway, while we're here, I thought we might as well make a little settlement between this highway and this railway. Seems like a pretty natural place for development to crop up now that everything's connected. And I'm sure there's going to be regular service through here as soon as the services or as soon as uh, this rail line is completed so yeah definitely times are right for the boat so let's start out by uh can we do no we can't do that yeah let's start out by double tracking this rail for a short way in order to facilitate stopping or uh well i don't know in order to facilitate station placement no kind of, no real life explanation for why you would have to do this thing quick group there aren't more single track rail stations there probably are and i just don't know about them but, uh, i guess i could always do some looking after i finish recording this So I'm wondering how I want to do this here. 
I'm thinking maybe this town should be closer to the railway than the highway. So that's how it turns off and on. Yep, just a few regular sized blocks to start things off. Nothing too crazy or imaginative. Just because I'm trying to get a pretty regular core shape going here. To expand off the table. And the shape of the blocks will remind me of what I was trying to do. Yeah. Might as well make this town fair size to start out. I think we'll have a street parallel to that railway. This seems like a pretty good setup to start out. You know, what we could potentially do here is place some kind of small park. I want to keep it pretty small. I do tend to go pretty heavy on the parks. So, don't want to do that too much. Might as well continue the street grid out a little bit. Oh, well, I think this uh, area is only going to be partially developed. Yeah, like that. So, what kind of park? I'm thinking, uh, how about a peg pie and trail park? Those usually don't work too bad. Yeah. Let's put maybe just the one trail head. Uh, Place a T down there. And one right there. And we'll get a quarter piece. Like that. And like that. Just connect the trails on to the sidewalks. And we'll put some trees and such between them. Maybe a Maxis style playground in some here. Yeah, those are the trees I want. Over here, it's just gonna have to be houses. Yeah, over there I think I'm gonna have maybe some kind of civic. need police in a little town like this. Put them right on the highway.
Uh, health. Go with this clinic again. And we'll put it right there. And that should be all we need for civics for a little bit. Uh, what else am I trying to do though? I think I'm trying to build a decent bus stop network for the city. So let's get started with that. You know, because of the shape of the city, I think I'm going to be trying to use RTFT to a fair extent here. So I'll just use that for now instead, since everything's very compact so far. So, yeah. Let's get the station here. 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 There. And stations there. And yeah, how about there too? And one there. Yeah. Actually, I think we're going to have that one soon. Okay. Oh, oops. Haven't built power or water or anything like that yet. Speaking of which, water, all I should need to do is place the pump. Right. I do have pipes here, right? Oh, no. Looks like I don't. Oh, well, I'll just partially pipe this area out right here on camera. Usually I try to build out my pipe network ahead of time for a whole city tile. Since, you know, it's just a waste of time. Uh, yeah. Well, Yeah, I'll probably off-camera at some point finish out that pipe network. But for now, looks like we're ready to place our first water pump. We'll put it right over here. And as far as power, we've got uh, rail access, so we've got coal. Although, in order to make sure that we can get that coal, I think I'd better build a freight station. Let's find it. Yeah, that one. Looks like the E rod isn't connecting, but that's okay. Over here, I guess because we've got all this industrial type stuff going on, we might as well expand it a bit more. And then otherwise, I think what we should be worrying about is building some agriculture for the Seattle City. So maybe 1400 is a good way to go. These are pretty large farms, but uh, you know, this, they're right next to a railroad, so it's going to be pretty valuable land at some point. I wonder why that's a little bit cheap. So it's because of that. Jeez. Well, we fixed that at least. Huh. So where am I trying to go? I think this wouldn't be too bad an idea.
Yeah. So 14 by 10 is actually doesn't seem like it's such a bad size for a farm, now that I think about it. Yeah. Connect that on through. It's another at grade crossing, but that those never heard anyone, did they? Except the people who are killed by oncoming trains. Alright, let's connect these roads there. Practical enough. That road is going to go on through there. And in the meantime, more farms. Huh. Yeah, that's, I like it that way better. Might as well zone farms right on up to the railroad. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've only got room for the one over there. There we go. I don't think we really need that little key right there, actually, now that I think about it. Let's extend this one instead. Yeah. Nice. These farms are looking like they're going to build up pretty nicely. Huh. Why not do something like that for a change? They end up being around the same size. I might even be able to get them closer. Yeah, I can't get them exactly identical in size, but you can get them pretty close. Huh. Maybe extend that one a little bit further. Uh, what else is going on up here? I think I'm gonna curl this road pretty close to the rail there. Of course, in a different direction. Yeah, that's how I wanted it. This farm's going to be a little bit bigger. It's just the way it is. Huh. Wonder what the graphical error is there. Turn this 
same issue here, huh? Well, I think I'm gonna studiously try to ignore it. Yeah. Seems like we're all good like this for now. Actually, uh, just because this town has, isn't big or anything, I'm going to demolish that connection. And zoom out a touch. That was taking a gamble there since I didn't save, but looks like it worked out. And I think we will uh, turn on the time. See how this turns out. Oops. Looks like I didn't accidentally dezone anything there. But yeah, since there isn't too much, too many people in the city, traffic shouldn't be too crazy, and so we should, should be able to just all use the highway to get to these farms instead of uh, crossing over the rail act crate, which we don't want. Anyway. Farmers in short supply of fertilizer. That seems like a pretty serious issue. So we are going to build out the lot that they want us to. It fits in pretty nice. Yeah. Let's see, so... Uh, where are people working generally? Yeah, too many high well. They're probably just gonna get abandoned, but not too much I can do about it for now. Yeah, we'll build a house of worship say over there. Looks like I missed a tile of pipes. Right there. Yeah, this is they aren't building back faster than I can demolish them. So I guess that's a good sign. Yeah. So let's see how many people we have. Oh yeah, looks like workers. Oh, I guess they aren't going to these farms. Because technically this neighbor connection is closer. They are all just heading there. So to respond to that, I think we're going to replace that active connection. See how that shakes things up. And I mean, really, is it really only freight trucks? Yeah, it looks like most people would rather just go down the highway. So I guess one way you could respond to that is by building some houses here that are genuinely closer to the agricultural fields than the neighbor connection. See how their presence affects things? Yeah, I mean, they're just... Huh. So I guess we should try to... Uh, huh. I guess we could have some houses over here as well. I mean, seems like the right kind of place. 
the right looking kind of place. Which is pretty much the same thing. Alright, so let's just put it in a little place. Yeah. No real access to there. Let's change that. Hmm. I'll probably use some uh, residential land here too. They provide are practically swallowed up by the meat in this area. But that'll be okay. In fact, I think I might have, uh, you know, we'll be getting workers from the other city who will help us out if we just develop this new connection here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I bet I have enough material for an episode today, but next time we are gonna go over to the other side of that neighbor connection and that rail neighbor connection. Oh, this actually goes to Tidewater, never mind. Well, guess what? Now it goes to both Tidewater and, whoop, if I can get to work, Honey Valley. Yeah, Cemetery Hill is technically over this corner. So, do have to curve through Honey Valley to get to uh, Cemetery Hill. Speaking of which, there is development right over here in Honey Valley, so I might as well place this farm as well. Let it develop really quick. Whoop. Looks like it's developed. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you next time in Honey Valley and then Cemetery Hill where we'll hook this rail line up. See you then.